Hello guys and dolls, welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today we are taking a look at the Sunlu filament dryer. Before we get started, a quick word from our sponsor, and roll those credits. PCBWay are proud sponsors of the channel. They offer industry-leading 3D printing services covering all types of materials and processes. They also offer industry-leading online CNC machine services from milling, machining, and turning in all the materials you could possibly need. They also offer a fully online prototyping PCB service. Everything from assembly through to design, you can do it all online with an easy system to use for quality. So for all of your needs, check out PCB Way in the link in the video description. Okay, so full disclosure. Sunlu are now an active sponsor of the channel. They are sending us resin and filament and they also sent us this machine. So we are clear. Cannot buy a good review on this channel. Um, so the thoughts and opinions expressed in this are our own. Sunlu do not have any editorial rights. Um, but full disclosure, we do get to keep this machine when we are done. With that out of the way, Sunlu's filament dryer uses three fans and a heating element to create a consistent temperature inside of this chamber to try and dehumidify and try to dry out your filament and keep it dry. This is not super essential for PLA unless you live in a really humid climate, which we are in England. So although it's moist most of the time, um, it isn't really very humid. Um, However, there are filaments that absolutely are what's called hydroscopic, which means it draws moisture out of the air. So PVA is a prime example, carbon fiber is another. Wood filaments tend to be quite hydroscopic. Um, this machine has pre-settings um, that you can go through and change for the specific filaments that are in there. To be clear, it changes the whole chamber. You cannot control each bay, as it were, um, with a different level of humidity or a different temperature. It'll go all the way up to about 70 degrees, so pretty warm, you wouldn't be using that for PLA. Um, but, uh, but overall, it does a really good job at consistently heating and bringing that moisture level down. Now, an important point, this is not an AMS, and this is not a multi-material system, in the sense that None of these um, spools are motorized. They are all um, they are all just on they are all just on runners. So when you pull filament out, when you push it back, the spool is not pulling it back like it would in an AMS. The spool is simply sitting in there. So it will be fine with your retractions, but just be aware that if you shove a bunch of filament back in there, back down the PFTE tube, then you're going to end up unspooling part of your print a uh, part of your spool and you could end up with filament tangles, so just be careful of that. You can come out of the top two holes, or you could come out of the side two holes, and there is longer PFTE tube available, which comes in the pack, which means that you can run that to a Bowden setup if you needed to. All in all, this machine does a really good job at what it's trying to do. We've had filament dryers before. They're normally just a container with some desiccant in them. And frankly, they're underwhelming when it comes to actual results. They make very little difference. This actively heats and it has target humidity levels. So you can do two modes. One mode is where you simply dry the filament for a set period of time. The second is where you dry the filament for a set period of time and then any time that the moisture level, go, the moisture level, go, the relative moisture goes over 50%, it'll kick back in and bring that all the way back down. You can set it as low as 30% percent humidity but it will actually try and get the filament all the way to, or the chamber all the way down to about 25 that's when it starts to shut off automatically so it's much more efficient than just running one all the time all in all it's a pretty powerful unit it's 129 pounds and with that you get two spools of filament for free 
if you live in a humid environment or you are printing with humid with with moisture level sense humidity sensitive materials it's a really useful tool to have and long-term storage in here whilst not necessarily super efficient because you could just put it in a vacuum seal bag and store it away if you're constantly swapping out filaments and you just want to have multiple filaments on the go it's a pretty solid solution. You've got different ways you can run the filament out. You've got different um, PFTE lengths, so you can adapt to different machines. It's not hideous looking, and it's very easy to change filament. So you literally just do this catch, up it comes, you take your filament spool out, um, it will go through these PFTE tubes here, and you just pocket out the top, and then you pull that out and go over to wherever your printer is. Again, remember, this is not an AMS. So this does not talk to your printer in any way, shape or form. This is a secondary piece of equipment that you run side by side with your regular printer. Does it do the job that it says on the tin? It absolutely does. You can see already, as we've been on this video, that it has started to bring down the humidity in this box. It's doing a pretty good job, if I'm honest. Like, um, it's not loud. There is a fan noise that's currently going, but it's not super oppressive. There's 330 watt three cooler fans for the, um, for the heater. So it's got a decent amount of power. It will go all the way up to about 70 degrees as a chamber heater. Now, obviously you wouldn't be doing that for PLA, but if you've got other materials, ABS, PETG, carbon fiber elements, then it's absolutely valid that you would um, that you would potentially want to go up to that sort of temperature. Um, it can automatically control that humidity as well by way of shutting stuff off. Just having a look to see if there's anything else it says that I need to cover. And obviously it will store four filaments in it at any one time. As far as we've tried, and we've tried multiple different brands. So I've tried Overture, I've tried Sunlu, I've tried Esan and a bunch of different ones as well, and Bamboo um, as well. Um, pretty much any one kilo spool will fit inside of this. I even tried some of the Fiberology ones, which are slightly bigger spools. Um, they all fitted in, they all worked perfectly. I will say that you won't get two kilo spools or anything like that in here. And obviously you're not going to fit a five kilo spool in here or any of that sort of stuff. Um, but again, pound for pound, if you have an issue with moisture in your work area and the types of materials you have are moisture sensitive, it's really difficult to find something on the market that's going to do a better job than this. Um, if we're scoring it, it's getting a nine out of 10. Um, the only reason I'm saying that is because you can change the LEDs on this to go from fast to slow to off. But you can't change the color. I want to change the color. I don't know why, but I'd like to. And as well, it does feel like there could have been a way to have made this into an AMS. Because ultimately, if you have an AMS or a multi-material system, this does become a little redundant at that point. Um, if you've got, say, uh, a Bamboo A1 or something like that, those machines, are, you know, they've already got multi-material systems. They do a pretty good job with just desiccant at controlling moisture as much as they need to, although they don't actively heat and they don't, you know, they don't actually remove moisture. They just store it in the desiccant. Um, but ultimately, if what you need is something to just help you, you know, get rid of some of the humidity because you live in, Florida, for example, or just somewhere that's got a really high humidity most of the time. It does exactly what it says on the tin. It's not really much to see other than that. I'll show you a quick look at the UI so that you can uh, so you can see how it works and what it does. So, quick look around the UI. So we have PV here. PV is the um, current temperature. SV is the target temperature. RA is RH is the relative humidity and mode one and mode two. So mode one 
will just run the timer. Um, mode two will run the timer, it'll turn off, and then whenever the humidity goes above 50, it'll turn it back on and automatically try to bring it back down. You can press set and you can change the temperature to whatever you want. Um, you can change from Celsius to Fahrenheit. This is how you change the LEDs. So they go stuck, on or off, if that's something you particularly want to change. There are preset settings here for polycarbonate, for, P for PA, for RBS, TPU, PEPGs, all of that stuff. So um, all of those presets are already there. But just to be clear, like if you had, um, you know, if you if you had a specific temperature you need to get to, you can just change the SV and it will be fine. Um, and then you can go up to this and it will you can change what you want the relative humidity to go to. It goes down as low as 30, um, but it will also switch off when it gets down as low as 25. So it will still go a little bit below that as well. This is how you change mode one and mode two. Mode one, as I said, just time. Mode two, time will turn off, and then any time the uh, any time the moisture goes above fifty, it will automatically switch back on to keep it there. And then you can just and that's the UI. But that's it, guys. Right? This is this is ultimately it does it does exactly what it needs to. It works the way that it needs to. There's not a big bulky power supply on the back. There is just a two-pin connector that um, that goes into the back and that plugs directly into the mains. So there's no big power supply or anything that hangs off the back. This does exactly what it needs to. It goes into standby mode when it's not in use, so it's super efficient. You can't really ask for much more out of a filament dryer than what this currently provides. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to go and get your own, there's a link in the video description. Go and show Sunlu some love by going and buying some filament from our affiliate link. It doesn't cost you any more, but it is a great way to support the channel. We'll catch you on the next video. Thanks very much.